Hey everybody, this is Paul, and today we're going to be taking another look at a brand new DC Comic Superheroes Lego set. This one is set 76040, Brainiac Attack, has 179 pieces, it has a retail price of $24.99 in the US. You could get it at Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, um, lots of other stores, and you can always get it at Lego if you have a local Lego store or lego.com if you don't. So, like the last superhero set we did, I am not going to uh, take this out of the box and do the review of the set build. We're only going to be looking at the minifigures out of the box. So, check these people out here. That's who's going to be inside. We're going to show you them out of the box in just a minute. And I'm definitely going to be interested to see if Superman and Martian Manhunter are different from the figures that we got last year and a couple years ago. So we are gonna take a closer look at those in just a second. First up, let's take a look at Superman. I'm using a uh, base plate from Lego minifigure. So that's where that's coming from. So here is Superman. He is in his classic Superman uniform, uh, the bright blue and red. Um, first thing I notice about this figure is the cape is a little bit different than normal minifigure capes. It's a softer cloth, so it drapes a little bit better, I think. Um, feels a little bit nicer. So I kind of like that. It's not as stiff. Uh, I don't know that it fits around his neck as well, but that's what it is. This guy is printed on both... Oh, he just keeps swinging around. Both sides of his head are printed. And so he has his normal face, which is kind of like just this grim determination look. But this face I really like. It's uh, on the box, the box art showing him like with this face uh, shooting the laser beams out of his eyes using his heat vision. So I really like that. I like that face. That's a cool face for Superman. So there's Superman. Just for comparison's sake, here is the Superman that you could get. Um, the set is sold out now, but it, it you might still be able to find one on shelves. Uh, it's the Lex Luthor Power Armor set. Came with this Superman right here, Lex Luthor and Wonder Woman. So this Superman is different in a couple ways. Uh, number one, the cape. It's this like really stiff cloth cape. Uh, you can see it right away. He's got a different expression up there. And I think he has that grim determination look, too. Yeah, that, that's the same. So the difference between this Superman and the other one are going to be the older style Superman is going to have this face instead of this face. And the cloth cape is different. So little differences, but still a different minifigure. Um, you know, it just depends what look you want for your Superman. Or if you're a completist, you're going to need both. So that's the Superman from that set. Let's take a look, uh, just so we can get him out of the way, at another figure. This is Martian Manhunter, uh, another real key piece of the Justice League. He had a figure come out last year as an exclusive um, in 2014, which sold out really quick. So he has the same type of cloth cape as Superman did. Uh, real nice printing on him. I love his, I love his uh, face. Look there. He has the cloth cape. He's got this other piece here that kind of comes up like this and makes that. I don't know what you would call that, but it's it's another part to the cape, which is nice. Okay, he is only printed on one side of his head, so you don't get alternate faces with him, which that actually kind of fits his character. He doesn't show a lot of emotion. He's very, very cool in battle. So that's him. Now, just for the sake of comparison, this was the exclusive figure from last year that you could only get uh, in the month of March, I think it was, if you spent a certain amount of money at the Lego store. So I'm gonna set him down here. Just to kind of run down the differences, well, let me bring him back real quick. Obviously, the printing on the torso is different, and the legs. This guy has has the printing on the legs right here that you can see. His torso is different, has the blue up there. 
The face, the expression looks different. The eyes are different. Still only one, one side printed on the head. And of course, this is the old style cloth cape. So a different Martian Manhunter for you. I like that because if you had this one, you know, when Lego puts out new figures, you know, if they reprint a figure that used to be an exclusive, it kind of kind of undermines the value of the exclusive. So I like the fact that they made this guy noticeably different. All right, let's go with the last hero in this set. This is a figure that I'm excited about. This is Supergirl. She looks really cool. Um, she has the nice cloth cape. She has the classic, you know, bright color Superman printing. Um, she has a printed skirt, which I like. Uh, Lego has started to include, like, cloth skirts for, like, I saw it with the Simpsons minifigures and some of the minifigure line of figures. Um, I'm glad they didn't do that with her. I'm glad they just printed her legs. I like that better. I think it, I think it just came out cuter. The back of her is printed as well, which is a nice little touch. She has a cute little blonde hair, and this is kind of like her standard look. And if we twist her head around, she also has the heat vision angry eyes. I can never say that without thinking of Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story. So there is Supergirl. She's awesome. All right, next, last and but not least, is the villain that we get from this set. Now, this is Brainiac. Um, he is one of Superman's villains, and he's a villain of the Justice League. So he is a very, very nice addition to this set. Um, the minifigure is fairly basic. He has, like, metallic printing on his torso. And on his head, there's some metallic accents. He is printed on the other side of his head, but, of course, no alternate face, which is good. Um, but I like the fact that they extended that printing around the back of his head. That was a nice set of details. The back torso is printed, his legs are basic black, and his hands are like that alien green. Kind of matches his head real well. So that's a nice looking figure um, for a basic figure, but of course, you know, the key to him is going to be his, uh, the stuff he comes with. So he came with that big giant skull thing that you would build with the set. Of course, Superman and Supergirl can take that out with their heat vision. So let me tilt the camera down here. So that's the figures from that set. Again, that set is 76040 Brainiac Attacks from the DC Comics Super Heroes Lego line for 2015. It's a brand new set. Um, I like all four of these figures. I think they're all really cool. My favorite figure is going to be the Supergirl. I'm only saying that because I have a Martian Manhunter from last year. I've, I've got this classic Superman look um, in the Lex Luthor set. Brainiac is really cool. I love having villains. Um, I usually like the villains more than the, more than the superheroes, but I really like the female characters. Um, I like, like Supergirl. I like the fact that we got her. Um, I think it's four outstanding figures, and this is a bargain price set at $24.99, in my opinion, for these four figures. Uh, I really figured you'd have to buy a more expensive set to get some of these. But... I'm really excited about the set overall, but the superhero figure, the super girl figure is my favorite. But how about you guys? Which one is your favorite? Do you like this set or is it just kind of meh? Whatever. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And please check back for more reviews of the DC Lego superhero minifigures.